Well, uh, now that uh, you're you're kind of getting a, a feel of what a procedure is, let's move on to the next script and understand more. Okay, in this um, second script, we will look at a function procedure. And as I uh, mentioned before, a function procedure returns a, a value. So in this particular script, uh, let me go ahead and run it, and uh, then we'll go back and look at the script line by line. So it's prompting me to enter a number, which says enter the first number. I'm going to put 100 in there. So enter the second number. I'm going to put 25. And I get a message saying, you know, sum of two numbers is 125. OK, well, let's see. Um, line 15 is declaring uh, variables, uh, input 1, input 2, and uh, total. And 16 is just a constant. So line 19 and 20, this is where uh, we are prompting to display, I mean to say we are prompting for the user to enter the numbers. So we are getting two, uh, two numbers and uh, we are reading that into the variable input 1 and input 2. And then what we are doing is uh, we are displaying the total as we saw, but uh, we are calculating total by using something called add. So, and what is add? When I double click that, this gets highlighted. So, we have a function. And this function, the way this works is again, it's similar to uh, the sub uh, procedure. So, in this, with sub, what we did was we wrote a sub and then we gave a name and then we said end sub. Similar to that, this the function works the same way. We will say function, give it a name. And then we need to end the function and function. However, the minor difference is, you know, here we are also taking uh, some values into the function. So we, with, the, with the name, we are also saying, say for example, var one, var two, variable one, variable two, and then doing something and returning a value. So in this case, in this particular case, we are taking two numbers, num one and num two. So whatever comes in the first position will be num1. Here, what happens is when we say add, we are taking the input one and using C int a function to convert the input one into the actual integer because what you keyed in is a text. I mean, it's a string. So 100, 100 is a string. That string needs to be converted into a integer. So it's C convert int c int converts that string into integer so that's what it does so it converts that and whatever conversion results in that is passed in and that is tr will be treated as a num1 so the second position whatever value comes in here will be treated as a num2 and it's a add followed by you know we open a bracket and then gave something comma something that first something however we pass it it's treated as num1 and the following one is treated as num2 so then what happened is one of the line 28 inside the function it says sum equal to num1 plus num2 so whatever is coming in the first position plus whatever is coming in the second position so now we are you know it's a just mathematical formula we are saying sum equal to num1 plus num2 then we said add equal to sum. So the thing with a function is in order to return a value within we were scripting, the, there should be a variable with a value declared. And that variable has to be same as the function name. Since the function name is add, so I, all I did was said add equal to sum. So whatever total that gets calculated or gets assigned to the variable add since add is same as the function name the value gets returned 
So uh, let me go ahead and run the script one more time. So it's prompting me, and this is coming from line 19. I'm going to put 10 in there, and then I'm going to put 20. And what I got is 30. So the 10 got passed here, the 20 got passed here, and when it came 22, line 22, it said add. So it needs to call this function here, this function, but it needs to take the input, convert it, and it has, and it needs to do that at the same time, or you know, to kind of uh, demonstrate it for you instead of just one line, I could do this. So now that I have input one, I can do um, int num one equal to c int, and I need to convert input. one. I'm going to copy that line and say int num2 is equal to I'm converting in input 2 this time. And then I can do total. Probably this might be more clear for you. Total equal to add int1 which is this int num1 comma int num2 the same thing. Instead of uh, converting and in, and then passing into another variable and using those variables here, in, instead of doing all that, I directly did this way. So you can also know there's nothing wrong. It's just you know matter of preference. And here I did add. So this value goes into this. This value goes into num2, and I'm taking those two and passing and calling the method add. And what happens is whatever value that int num has goes into num1 position and int num2 goes into num2 position. So these two positions get added because they are already integers. So you can add them and we are sending it to uh, a variable called sum. And then uh, we are saying that add equal to sum because, you know, doing this way by function, you know, I mean to say the function will return a variable value of a variable that is same as the function name. Okay, that's uh, pretty much that's it about functions, to be quite frank, because there's nothing more to it. I mean, the, the complexity comes in when you start doing complex things within your function. If, if you have simpler statements, the function looks simpler. Okay, well, uh, let's move on to the next script.